Keep a pace with the latest track and field news from Jamaica, across the Caribbean, and around the world. It's trackalerts.com. There is just no other. Up to the minute details, expert views, reviews, and interviews in photos, videos, and features. Track alerts on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Track Alerts TV on YouTube. Trackalerts.com. From start to Advertise on our live streaming on Track Alert social media pages, which provides the most prominent online viewership from Track and Field Meets in Jamaica. Your products will be seen by our large audience in Jamaica, the diaspora, and across the world. Book your spot in our live stream for a very small introductory fee. Call or text us at 876-893-4157. Or email Anthony Foss at gmail.com. Trackalerts.com from start to finish. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tokyo 2020 happening in 2021. You know, we are going to look on some of the events. So this is Tokyo 2020 Alerts. And this is on Track Alerts Live. We will do our preview show. On the other side, you know, joining me from Jamaica is a man who knows track and field, who is a track and field analyst, track and field writer, track and field broadcaster. Welcome, Sean. Yeah, man, I'm here. Pleasure to be here, man. I'm excited to get this this um, this Olympic started because. Well, we've been waiting over a year for this edition to really happen. So, yes, let's yes. see what happens, you know? Yes, so, of, of course, as I said, preview show, the show of the 2020, or Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games, track and field show, the real thing gets on the way tomorrow, Jamaica time, America time tomorrow night, 7 o'clock Jamaica time, 8 o'clock in Miami, well, Florida, I should say, 8 o'clock in yeah. New York, 8 o'clock yeah. right across most of the states and the cities in the United States. Tomorrow, and of course, what better way to start track and field than to have the women's 100 meters on the first day? And of course, Sean, the women's 100 meters what can i say about the women's sprints at the olympic this year it's going to be it's going to be hot hot world champion is there the olympic mm-hmm. sprint double champion is there mm-hmm. world 200 meter champion is there oh my it's just going to be a hot one sean and that's the first that event is on the first day couldn't have gotten track and field started in a better way started off with a bang because i know this is the event that even Usain Bolt is looking forward to. He, he's like, man, the men's 100 meters, I don't care about that. I'm looking at the women's 100 meters to get started. Um, it is going to, you know, the, the thing about the women's 100 meters this year is that you have a favorite, but she may not even be the favorite favorite because the other girls are so wound up and ready to go. So, of course, you know, we're talking about everybody's favorite one, Shelly and Fraser Price. I, I think it's it's general knowledge that Shelly and Fraser will win the 100 meters or should win the 100 meters. That's my prediction. Um, there have been some who have uh, given Sherika Jackson a medal as well. I'm not one of those. Definitely given Elaine a medal. And I want to be forthcoming and say I want to give Ash a medal as well. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. And, and, and just looking on it, just looking at it, Sean, that 100 meters. And, of course, we're going to have to take some comments from our fans. And, of mm-hmm. course, you know, maybe, just maybe, we'll invite one or two to come live with us if they are interested to do so. But mm-hmm. Elaine Thompson, Hira, Shelly and Fraser Price, Sherika Jackson, that three strong, strong women there for Jamaica. You remember what happened in 2008? It was one, two, two. So Sharon Simpson and Karen Stewart joined second. Shelly and Fraser Price, your winner in Beijing. 
Jamaica again. Um, that's what, 12 years later? 11 years later? Yeah, well, 12 no, years. It's 12 years later. Olympic yeah. years. There you go. 13, 13 years because <laughs> what, what 12 Olympic years later. And yeah. Jamaica again have a very strong, strong chance of copying all three medals. It's not going to be easy. Dina Asher yeah. Smith, we're hearing that she may be hurt. We're not sure if she'll run yet. And also, we all know what happened to um, Richardson, who yeah. many would have wanted to see go up against the Jamaicans, not in a Diamond League, but at the Olympic Games. But it's going to be hot. It's going to be hot. And as you say that, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to put on the screen track and field news. Considered uh -huh. to be the Bible of the sports, Sean. Right. They made their prediction, and uh, we have it on screen there. And you'll you, you should be able to see it, Sean. But Shelly yeah. and Fraser Price, at top of the Caribbean track and field news list. Elaine Thompson here in second place. Dina mm -hmm. Asher Smith of Great Britain in third. What I don't agree with, and I can tell you, I don't think. Talu or Okobari will beat Sharika Jackson. I think Sharika Jackson should get at least fourth. And as I said before, Jamaica has three strong competitors there, Sean. Three strong 100-meter yeah. runners. And I would not be surprised if Jamaica cup all the three medals. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you why I kind of still agree with the the track and field news. Even though Sherika showed very good form at the trials, and even after the trials, I think even though she looks like she has a four hundred meter strength, right? Because she's ran faster every time she's ran the race. I just don't see her. Even though in high school, uh, over at Manchester High, she ran four by one. She also ran very, four by one. Very technical. Very technical. She also ran four by one at um at like a rifter and, and some world junior meets. But still, I don't see her as that sprinter to get that medal. I mm -hmm. see her probably in fourth. I do see someone more experienced like Dina Asher, who has actual you know 100 meter speed, if you understand what I'm saying. Yes, get yeah. that bronze medal over Sherika. But the race has to be run, but that's just what I see. I definitely put Shelly, Elaine, and Dina for my um for my top three. Okay, and, and there you have it. And, of course, Odeon Grant, JP, he's giving us his top eight. What a top eight. Women's 100 meters. And that, wow, very interesting. We have that on the screen. <laughs> ah, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. I don't think the Jamaicans will agree with that one. My top eight for the women's 100. But, again... Keyboard Again, when, he, when he was putting that in. <laughs> Kevin Mott. It's going to take 10 7 0 to get a medal. Dean Asher Smith doesn't have that in her legs yet. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with Mott there? But I'm just going through some of these comments. Um quickly, Sean. Yeah. Um Shelly, this is from Francine. Shelly will win. Not sure if Elaine or Sharika. Um you know, wants it, but she's going for Shelly. Um, B.I. Strong, you know, not thinking Sharika will medal. It is crazy to me. I don't know why so, he's saying that. But he's saying that. He's saying that I'm wrong. That's what he's saying. Oh. It is all right. <laughs> we're, we're just pundits yeah, here. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. So the comments are coming in fast. We're not going to be able to read all. You know, one of the interesting one here, will you have live stream? <laughs> That's a very big one. Uh, I mean, we, we we would we would have loved to have that, but that's not going to happen. Not now, not anytime soon. This is the Olympics we're talking about. Big box it takes to I get move on from this topic from the 100 meters uh let's give um karen richards who who ran for jamaica as a junior as well and over at university of illinois she puts jamaica on the sweep 
So wow. she's a sprinter, female sprinter from Jamaica, St. Andrew High School. She gives us Shelly to Elaine to Sherika. I'm having goosebumps yes. carry and write. Yeah. Because she's usually right when she writes it. Yep. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, this 100 meter is going to be a cracker. And talking about the 100 is going to be a cracker. The women's 200. So we, we're still talking about Dina Asha Smith. We're still talking about Shelly and Fraser Price. Mm -hmm. Who PR in both the one and the two this year? 1063, her personal best this year in the 100. And 21.78 or 9. 21.79, I think it was. Her personal best to win at the Jamaica Olympic Trials. She is on top of her game. She, you know, um, Shelly is a championship athlete, and we can't yes. take away that from Shelly. Elaine is a genuine sprinter. You know, we, we saw her in 2016. Unfortunately, she has been affected by, her, um, by the athletes. And it's something seems to be staying as long as possible with her we hope she won't have that problem in in tokyo we hope you know she will be at least 95 percent and can go out there and show the world what she can do she's a class sprinter sherika jackson 1077 this year who knows that sherika jackson had 1077 in her legs to me, Sherika Jackson can go faster. So we heard earlier in one of the comments that it will take 10-7 to get a medal. Right. We have seen, I didn't, I, I, I didn't read the story fully, but I'd mm -hmm. seen a headline saying Flo Joe's husband believes her record will go. And as I, I must admit, I did not read that story. I don't know if they're talking about the 200 or the 100 record, but oh my, oh my. That 100 meter record, Sean, I don't see that one going anytime soon, but it's a good time to look on the 200. Right. Dina Asher Smith, Great Britain, Gabby Thomas, Shelly Fraser Price, Shane Mila Weibo, Sherika Jackson, Elaine Thompson, Kira. That's the top six, according to Track and Field News. Again, I don't agree. I am going to go with one of the Jamaicans. Okay. I am going to go with one of the Jamaicans. Shawnee Miller Weibo, one of my favorite athletes. I think she can, or maybe the only one outside of Jamaica to stop a one, two, three sweep. But again, again, will Shelly run the 200? Will Shelly stick with the double? It's left to be seen. We don't know. She won the double at the World Championships in 2013. Yeah. Will Shelley stick with the double here? Will Dina Asha Simit run the double? We don't know. We heard she's not 100%. Will Shane Miller 2 4 double? We heard just today coming out of the Bahamas that she will double. Sean, women's 200 on the screen. Do you agree with track and field news? Definitely not. I don't see Dina Asher as the winner here. This is the event where I actually see Sherika Jackson in the medals. Because with a 10, what she ran? 10, 10 7, 7 um, on the season? 10, 7, 7. And 21, 82. 21, 82. So with that 10, 7, 7 speed, her quarter mile strength, which she has proven over and over and over, which she should be on that 4x4 four four for Jamaica. I think this is where you find that she will reel them in if they don't, if she if she stays within striking distance coming off that curve, she's going to have a way with them. The reason I don't give it to Shawnee is because Shawnee also has that 400. And I am mm -hmm. a staunch, I don't believe in a 2-4 double at any level. I just think it's a bad decision. 2-4 double especially at the Olympics where everybody's super fast. And, of course, we measure your success if you win a medal or, better yet, if you win both events. Anything else, mm -hmm. you have failed. And I think that 2-4 is bad for Shawnee. 
but it's good for the Jamaicans because I think Jamaica will get two medals there. And again, Dina Asher or um, mm -hmm. Natiani will get, or Gabby will be in there as well. I think that the top four, Shelly, Sherika, Dina, and Gabby. Because I like how Gabby looked. She looked like she had more left in the tank at USA Trials. Having said that, you don't agree with Shani 2 4 double. That may cost her a medal in the 200. Will that cost her a medal in the 400? Because if that is going to affect her in the 400, look on the prediction from track and field news, Stephanie and McPherson for second. And if it's going to affect Shawnee Miller in the 400, she's a defending champion. Will this be the chance? Will this be the time for Stephanie and McPherson to win her first international individual medal? What says you? I think the timing is right for Stephanie Ann. She and um, McLeod um, at the Jamaica Trials went sub-50. And Stephanie looked very comfortable in her run. And I give it to her over Sean and Miller Weibo. I don't see Addison in that medal table as well. But definitely what I see from my own predictions is I'm giving it to Stephanie Ann. Um, I'm giving, what's her name, the second place, not Stephanie. Um, Shawnee could get the second place. And then the third place could still go to Alison Felix because she just has that determination to get that medal, which is the way she got onto the USA team. And I think mm -hmm. that will prove well for her as well. But Stephanie Ann is the person who I believe will win that 400 meters woman because she just looks she does looked really well really good all season actually and she capped it off with that sub 50 at the jamaica trials which is good very very interesting days ahead and as i said before action starts tomorrow 7 p.m jamaica time with the preliminary of the women's 100 and of course you don't expect to see shelly and fraser price dina asha smith Sherika Jackson, don't expect to see them in that preliminary. But, you know, it, 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 it's going to be a very, very good opening day. So we move on to just, you know, just as we're going, try to go fast through the, the women's 200. We touched that. We touched the women's 400. The women's 800. Natalia Gould, will this be the year? that Natalia Gould may pick up her first medal. I think she'll get a medal. Um, I, I'm going to tell you what the AP News says. A thing move is from track, track and field news. Rosemary Almanza from Cuba and Gemma Riki from Great Britain. AP News believes that Natalia Gould will win. With Whoa. Rosemary from Cuba in second, where Track and Field News has her, and gives the bronze to a thing move from the United States. Whereas wow. Track and Field News gives a thing move the win. I give uh, the win to a thing move. I give Natoya the second place, and I'll go with the Cuban Rosemary Almanza for the bronze. Because I think one thing that um, Natoya is going to benefit from is Natoya is a very aggressive runner, and she will run from the front in a in a championship race. That will cause a thing move to move earlier than later in the race. And yeah. US as a thing really didn't have any competition, and she controlled that race easily. I think with Natoya, with a seat with a season's best, mm -hmm. pretty close cool to what a thing has done because I think a thing has more. I think the both of them are going to go down to the wire in that final. A thing Mu and Natoya Gould with Mu being a champion. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Again, Mu first time at this level. Yeah. You know, um, just recently at the end of the NCAA's championship, I think she signed her professional contract. Yeah. So, you know, um, she stepped into the big league <laughs> and hoping to continue. No, 100 meter hurdles. Woo, another one. 100 meter hurdles. 
The world record holder is there. The event but, which is called Unforgiving. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Puerto Rico. Uh huh. Comarcha Quinn. Uh huh. She has been running good all season. And I tell you, having seen her, watch her closely in her last race, Sean, not, I don't think, not even the world record holder will be closed. Yeah. She's that impressive. She's that impressive. She is that impressive, Sean. But we're not expecting any medals there for Jamaica. But you may never know. You may never know. But I, we're not expecting any medals there for Jamaica. I still see Four. that possibly squeezing in for the bronze. I'm not sure what her training has been like. She might have been a little rusty, but I mm -hmm. think whatever they've done, they've shaken off the rust coming off of the pandemic, lack of facilities. And when I say lack of facilities, like, you know, what I what I witnessed myself was that a lot of athletes had to be moving around, just finding spots to train, right? And I think that's probably what um, Dana has to shake off. Once she shakes it off, I think she'll go through the rounds and squeeze in for the medal. But definitely the Puerto Rican Jasmine could win and it's going to be between Jasmine and Kenny. It's it's and, I, that's what's going to happen. And Betty and Betty and believe the record will go in that event. Um, anything is possible. At the way Kamacha Quinn is running, you may never know what might happen. If Natalia goes runs a smart race, she'll be on the podium. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Wayne. I I, I'm, I absolutely agree with you that if Natalia goal runs, you know. A, a, a very good race. We had seen her. Where was it? Was it in Monaco when she ran that one fifty six? I think it was Monaco that Diamond League race. And if you notice one thing she did in that race, she was out front. She stayed out the pack, and that is going to be the key to her success. Yes, she has to stay away from the pack. Don't let what happened to Mary Decker Slaney back in nineteen eighty four, I believe, happen to you right here. Don't let what happened in the hurdles again too. Don't let what happened to Gail Divas happen to you because that hurdles can be very unforgiving. But Natalia yes. has to run her race and stay out of the crowd. And I believe you, you probably just have to be as aggressive. This is probably mm -hmm. the most aggressive she has to be to get on that podium. 400 meter hurdles. <laughs> Come on now. Jamaica, Jamaicans in the middle. Jamaicans in the middle. Ah, that's a big one. That is a big one. Jamaica in the medal. I don't see a medal for Jamaica. But again, will we see a world record? Will we see a world record? That is what going to be the talk of the women's 400-meter hurdles. Mm -hmm. McClacken, last time, 2019 in Doha, second place after running a very good race. In a world record race, won by Del Delia Mohammed. Delia Mohammed. 52.16 in 2019. Mm -hmm. That was a world record. Beat McLaughlin. McLaughlin came back this year in her first 400 meter hurdle race of the season. Mm -hmm. 51.90. Beat Mohammed in that race. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a race between those two. But the Netherlands, the Netherlands, 52 ball, 0.37. It's uh, going to be over with those three. I don't see, to be honest, anyone from Jamaica. Jenny Russell put together a good race. You may never know. But I don't see her getting beyond or upsetting that top three. Track and field news, you got that one right, in my opinion. What says you, Sean? All right, I'm going to have to agree with them because Cindy McLaughlin, um, the thing with her season, and many people question why she ran so many sprint races indoor and one or two sprint races outdoor. And it showed at the U.S. trials because, one, she was a cleaner hurdler. And yes. two, during that race, her strides were well within reach. She never shuffled at the U.S. trials. And I think that's really what produced mm -hmm. that 90. Now, if she has a repeat of that, she may only go to 51.8 in 
And that's going to be a product of how fit she is. But in terms of going much faster right now, like mid 51s, I don't see it. So the Leela will have to come with her A game as well and not go out so hard. Be a little bit more measured as well as try to be on point with her steps because this hurdles race is a rhythm race. And I remember Neil Gardner from Jamaica said to me one day, this is a rhythm race. And if there's no, he said to me, there's really no much difference between a guy that runs 49 and mm -hmm. 47. Because once that 49 guy gets his steps together, he'll be at 47. And that's what McLaughlin did. That's what she's going to have to repeat. In terms of um, Femke Bowl from the Netherlands, I definitely give her a solid bronze. Dalila is up for the silver. It will take at least, at a bare minimum, an Olympic record to win this event. To win this event? Yeah. Or to get a bronze? Or to get a bronze. It's going to be really, really close. Yeah, yeah. Because as we, as we would have seen, the two uh -huh. top persons, they already had gotten world records. World record in 2019. Two yep. times back to back for Mohammed, and then uh -huh. world record in 2020. So yep. I'm thinking you are saying to get a medal to pick up the bronze, you'll have to at least go below the Olympic record. So yes. there you have it here also that Kadian is saying McLaughlin is solid this year. Very. I give her the win. But Angelo is saying here that Mohammed is going to win. Mm -hmm. So there is one for Mohammed. There's one for Sydney McLaughlin. Mm. Dela Mohammed will lead into a straight, and this is Odian. Dela Mohammed will lead into the straightaway, though, so Sydney will have to catch her. And <laughs> what do you think? Dela Mohammed will lead, but having watched, it, 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 it's really going to be tough because I think Sydney is going to lead this race from start to finish. I don't. In 2019, when McLaughlin won this event, Sean, yeah, um, when Mohammed won the event, Sidney McLaughlin had run a very good race and was closing. What I've seen this year is that McLaughlin seems to be going out in front and not waiting to chase. So, but uh, let's see what happens there, Dalila is faster over the first few hurdles. McLaughlin stays within her stride pattern mm -hmm. because she's a left lead. McLaughlin is a left lead. The Leela changes pattern during the race. Yes. The Leela has to be smooth with all those change downs of the pattern because Sydney from the trials was very smooth. And again, I will repeat myself, that's simply because she did technical work and she also did speed work, and it showed mm -hmm. at the trials. That's why she probably didn't look like she was going so hard because she was staying in her steps, right? Yes. If you stay in your steps, you'll be fine. It's just like the guy, um, that U.S. guy that ran with the, the hat over his head. I think that was from '76 or '72 Olympics. The guy named Dave Waddle. It looked like he made a big kick down the straightaway because he was dead last through 500 meters, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden that last in the 800, all of a sudden the last 300 meters. He just started picking off everyone, and that's because you had a steady race, 23 seconds every every 200. Whereas with McLaughlin right here, she's going to be steady because her steps yeah. are, are on point, her speed is on point, and she's matured since I saw her last running for University of Kentucky. Well, and we're running out of time. As you said, running for University of Kentucky, we're also running out of time. And just like, let's take, and we have not touched the men, but let me put this one on the screen. Ricketts, Shanika Ricketts, silver, behind Rojas, Ro Rojas from the Vene Venezuela. That yeah. one may be true to form. I would not complain with that one. But because we're running out of time and we have to touch on a few other men event, Stephen Gardner to win the 400 meter hurdles, win the 400 meters, my bad, the 400 meters, he's the world champion, Stephen Gardner over Michael Norman. Vanny Kirk in third. Mm -hmm. We have not seen a lot of him this season. What for, in terms of the form he's in, we are not sure. World record in 2016, 43.03. Um, Stephen Gardner 
to win over Michael Norman, that is going to be another big race. Not a big race. Michael Norman for me. Michael Norman, Stephen Gardner, and I'm not sure who will take the third. Could be even Michael Cherry if he shows up. I want, I want, I want Stephen Gardner to win this race. I am staying with the Caribbean. Truck and field news. I'm going to stick with you on this one. If maybe my, Michael Norman will be my favorite, but I want Stephen Gardner to win this race. Men's 100, just take a quick look again. Brummel over Baker, ahead of DeGrasse. Truck and field news, I'm not going to disagree with you because I don't see a medal here coming for Jamaica. If Jamaica is to get a medal, you and Blake will have to step up. And the way you and Blake is confident, the way you and Blake is confident, listening to him, seeing his action, he wants a medal, Sean. He wants a medal. And I trust that you and Blake is going to go out there and he's going to run for that medal. And I must tell you, Sean, I really don't see it, but I, I want to believe, and I am going to believe in you and Blake that he's going to work hard to take home a medal for the black, green, and gold. I'm a little confused with Johan Blake because I saw a report where uh, Johan is going to be an analyst for an Indian um, media house. I don't know how that's going to work, if that's going to happen after he competes or while he's competing. But I'm a little confused there. So I still give the top three. I'd love to see him in a medal position because he's my, he's my next favorite uh, Jamaican sprinter right now. But I don't see him on the podium. I Sabini, right. Sabini yeah. second or first. This is coming from D'Angelo. I see Taekwondo Tracy in the finals. Of course, Ta Taekwondo Tracy should get into the final. Um, just to run through a few of these comments, this is from Javon. If him take off some of the weight and improve his technique, then he will get a medal. But Javon, he's not. If if you believe he needs to take off some of the weight, I don't think he will take off the weight in time to get an <laughs> Olympic medal. Michael Norman, Norman won't be on the podium. That is coming from Petian. I think Sibine will be in second. That is coming from Kino Cummins. Mm -hmm. Bronze for Blake. That's coming from Dana Newman. Dana Newman, of course, big up yourself. Have to big up Dana Newman. I'm um, Sean. She has been there from day one when Truck Alerts just launched out in 2009. One of Truck Alerts. Big fan. Big up yourself, Dana. Um, I'm, I'm just going through some of these comments. Blake Baker, I want to win if the U.S. is to win. So he doesn't want um, Brummel to win. But... We are running out of time and we are trying to race through some of these events. Noah lies over the grass. And Benny K from the USA. So here we are not seeing the 17 year old Nathan in the top three. Again, I think that young man is going to step up. I think he's going to pick up a medal. He broke your same both for world youth and world junior record. He is on top of the world now. I think he it is very likely that he'll pick up a medal there, Sean. I think it would take more than just having ran a uh, beaten Usain Bolt's records. Uh, this is gonna it will be take more. It will take more. Yeah, That's and true. I think he has the more right now to beat the likes of Lyles, DeGrasse, and Benderek. Even though I don't see Lyles on top of the podium. I'd love to see Lyles, but I don't see him on top of the podium, but we'll see what happens. But Knighton... Maybe may, may, he'll be in the final, but I don't I don't know that he's going to be on the podium. It's not. Maybe not. But we have to touch this one before we go. The world champion, according to track and field news, will be the Olympic champion in the long jump, in the men's long jump. Tajay Gale, very good pick, track and field news. I'm banking with Tajay Gale to take that gold medal back to Jamaica. Mm-hmm. And uh, we'll agree with that. We won't have to disagree on that because he's been jumping well. He's been doing some sprint work, which augurs well down, down the runway. So I give to Jay Gale, even though the AP News does not give him the win, does not even give him a medal, mm -hmm. they, they put um, Javon Harrison, um, the LSU um, athlete who's entered in, I think, the high jump as well. To win whose, mother, whose mother is also Jamaican. All right. Mm -hmm. let's say, Saint uh, Diego. So so let's do this. Uh, I think that Tajay will will um will do something real special. 
maybe because he had a low key season on the boards, which is why they're not predicting him high. Alisa but, Longmore also agrees with track and field news. Naomi also agree with track and field news. Mm -hmm. And also, Tanya will win gold, no doubt. I don't know who, which Tanya she <laughs> referring to. Um, Gail for gold, Maureen. But as I said before, we are really over time. This one, Sean, I don't know if I agree with this one. Look on the screen and tell me if you agree with this one. I am not, well, there you go. No medal for Jamaica. So, yes, I, I, I do agree because I really don't see Jamaica picking up a medal in that four by one. Mm -hmm. um, Jamaica is, is in a precarious position. And it's funny because um, the Mr. Peart, uh, Mr. Peart had to make a statement that the, today that the teams, because there's a rumor going on that there's some friction in the relay, in the relay camps. So he had to quell that, that everything is fine. So it'll be interesting to see what really happens in a four by one. Remember, you got to get the stick around. Jamaica is good at getting the stick around. That is why I will not keep them off the podium because Jamaica has a history of actually getting that stick around, which is the most important thing. Jamaica and Japan gets that stick around. USA, Britain, mm -hmm. always a little funky right there. Jamaica get the stick around with Usain Bolt. There's no Usain Bolt this time around. We're not sure how much they will be able to take that sticker on or to take the sticker on is one or to take the sticker on in a good position is another one but that's where we'll have to stop that's where we'll have to end tonight we have gone seven minutes over our half an hour time but remember to join us nightly maybe just about the same time mm -hmm. for our nightly show and you would have known that the morning session which would be around about 7 p.m starting 7 p.m jamaica time 8 p.m in florida or new york begins um and goes up until maybe about 10 11 o'clock at night so maybe our show will have to be just after that first session where we'll have to wrap up that first session I don't think we'll be able to do a daytime show with the fact that the afternoon session for Tokyo will get on the way maybe about 5 a.m. in the morning. But again, we're, all, we're, we're way over our time. Thanks for joining us for our preview show. Remember to join us nightly. Sean will be here some other nights. We'll have other guests other nights. So remember to join us nightly for our daily and i have to say daily sean because it's going to be day action in in tokyo for our daily review show so thank you again for joining us and we'll see you again tomorrow night when we look back on the first session of tokyo 2020 happening in 2021 thank you Keep a pace with the latest track and field news from Jamaica, across the Caribbean, and around the world. It's trackalerts.com. There is just no other. Up to the minute details, expert views, reviews, and interviews in photos, videos, and features. Track alerts on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Track Alerts TV on YouTube. Trackalerts.com. From start to finish. Advertise on our live streaming on Track Alert social media pages, which provides the most prominent online viewership from Track and Field Meets in Jamaica. Your products will be seen by our large audience in Jamaica, the diaspora, and across the world. Book your spot in our live stream for a very small introductory fee. Call or text us at 876-893-4157. Or email anthonyfoss at gmail.com. Trackalerts.com from start to finish.